If you want to set up your Ray 7 camera to shoot like mine with the Play Memories app, then what you're going to have to do is install a profile on your device and on your camera you're going to have to install the play memories app which you can do that by going to the application list in the menu and going to the play memories camera apps now i already have the smart control rem smart remote control installed but whenever you go to it you're going to connect to your wi-fi network you'll have to put in your access key if you haven't done it before and when you're here you're going to have to log in on the little tool icon right now I'm already logged in so all I can do is sign up but when you log in you're gonna have to do it with your email and password on your Sony account but once you sign in you can go back and install the smart control update and whenever you do so it's gonna download it and after it's finished download it's going to prompt you to install it and during the time you're of course not going to be able to turn on your camera but once the update is installed then you can go to your menu the application list start the application it's going to launch the built-in Wi-Fi and give you a QR code from your device such as your iPhone or Android device you're going to launch the play memories app which is available for free by Sony scan the camera QR code hit OK at the prompt and then just take your device over to the QR code when you got a successful scan just Whoops. I lost my scan. When you get a successful scan, hit OK. It's going to tell you to install a profile, which I already installed a profile, but you would have to install hit install put in your key code install the unsigned profile and once your profile was done with the installation hit cancel at the browser and then go to Wi-Fi and find your direct connection to the camera in the Wi-Fi networks then whenever you get a successful connection via profile you can go back to the play memories app and it's going to automatically begin the connection now from the app a few basics you can adjust the white balance the timer shoot continuous change your flash settings change the zoom settings review image the live view quality get information about your camera and back to the app from the app you can adjust the camera's shutter speed or in addition you can also adjust the camera's f-stop so I'm gonna take my f-stop all the way to, f to f22 as an example I'm gonna draw my ISO all the way down to 50 and my shutter speed I'm going to I'm gonna try a half see how that looks like Now I am shooting with the flash, so 
that really helps a lot then for wire balance you can adjust your wire balance to preset settings or custom settings I'm going to set it to incandescent or auto wire balance and basically anything you need your camera to do you can control it from here now the good thing about this is is that you set your camera on a tripod and then you go out to your product and right at the product wherever you are you can start working if you want to get a different image you can do everything from the shooting location instead of having to go back and forth for having to get an assistant or something and then when you got it set we'll just fire another picture Now as far as focusing goes, right now I got a J lens that's set to manual focus. And now I set it to auto focus and you can touch to focus. Which Right now I focus very good on that little point. I think the focus works good. I'm going to review the picture I just took. The focus works great. This is an iPad Air 2 with the Retina display, so I just think this is awesome. Everyone should give this a try. There are a lot of cameras in Sony's line that have this capability. Right now I'm on an A7 Mark II with the 7200 lens f4 all the way. And it just works great. Give it a try.